What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Joe and this is Hard Nuzzle Printing. So before we get this video started, I want to give a shout out to Rod and Heaven's Eye Aerial and Digital Photography for coming in here. Uh, they shot awesome footage, you know what I mean, to, to create that intro and the outro. So I want to give a big shout out to them. So if you guys are interested in uh, getting an intro or an outro for whatever it is that you do, um, send him a message. His Facebook link will be down below. Um, give him a message, see what they can do for you. All right, so it's been a while. I haven't done a video on my MT-1501 in a while, I've been super busy and I wanna thank all of you. All of you and the walking customers, you guys keep me super busy, all right? Um, but if you guys follow me on Instagram or YouTube stories, you guys know I'm constantly posting over there. All right, I've been MIA for probably a week now and the reason is because I dropped my phone and I broke it, is what it is, right? Um, but in this video, winter is coming, so I'm gonna be embroidering a hoodie with my logo on it um, for those winter months that are getting ready to come up. All right, so last year I did a couple hoodies, but I was using these hoops that come with the machine right here. But if you wanna save time and you wanna have the same placement and be consistent whenever you're doing what you're doing when it comes to embroidery, I'm talking about like placement, whenever you place a, a design on the shirt um, or the hoodie. Um, with these, you have, to, you have to, to put it where you want, you know what I mean, and basically, push it into place and make sure it's straight, it's not crooked, and all those factors that come into it when you're using these right here. But since then, um, I tell people um, you have to invest in yourself. When I say invest in yourself, I'm talking about your equipment or your tools, right? Uh, the better tools that you have, the better equipment you have, the more productive you're gonna be and the quality is gonna be a lot better when it comes to giving it to that customer, right? All right, so don't get me wrong, these will work, but like I said, you have to invest in yourself. And and as I've been doing this um, for the last couple months, I have realized that there are more effective ways to do things. So throughout the year, so as I was doing jobs and money was coming in, I looked at other ways that I could speed up the process and be more consistent for my customer, right? So, so throughout the year, I just didn't do it all at one time. I went ahead and I picked up the Mighty Hoops, right? Because um, I'm all about investing in myself to make things more effective right more efficient so I picked up two of the mighty hoops and then I also picked up the hoop master which we're going to be using in this video so I can show you how easy it is to hoop a garment with this right here all right so I'm switching over to a gray hoodie um, we're going to go ahead and go over to the hoop master and I'm going to show you how effective it is to have that thing when it comes to being consistent with your placement every single time all right so let's go ahead and go over there so here we are with the hoop master and if you don't know what this is you're probably like what is what is all this right i'm going to show you briefly how to use this um to set up the the hoodie that we're going to be doing the same concept with the shirt or anything else that you're using right but it comes with this right here it comes with the 5.5 um freestyle piece right here and then it comes with this piece right here right so whenever you're doing this this is what i was talking about whenever um you want to keep stuff consistent say you're doing a big order for a company and every logo is somewhere different on the shirt with this right here you're going to keep stuff consistent same placement same everything whenever you're using this right here no guesswork at it right so what we're going to do um is we're going to go ahead we're going to be doing this on the extra large hoodie right so what i'm going to show you is what these numbers mean and what these mean right here all right all right so this paper also comes with the hoop master when you get it i was just putting it everywhere and was always losing it so I taped it up here so I wouldn't have to lose it right um but we're going to be doing an x-large hoodie it can go it says here d or e 
and then on number 20. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that means. All right, so if you look at this, you're gonna see our letters right here and our numbers down here, right? So you take this right here and you have this little hole and you could drop it on number 20 like it says. Um, for me personally, I think number 20, I think this is, thing is off just a little bit. So what I do is I'll bring it in, um, sometimes one, maybe two numbers, right? So we're gonna go with number 19 um, for this hoodie, right? And then what I do is I take the bottom of the mighty hoop and I stick it in there and then we're going to take our backing and we are going to be using some water soluble something like that it dissolves whenever it's washed basically right so we're gonna take this and drop it into place right and then we're gonna grab our hoodie and we're going to swing it over the hoop master right so we're gonna take it over the hoop master and then we're gonna slide it into place. So we'll bring it down. All right, so like it says up here, we can go D or E, however we wanna do it, whatever works best, whatever we think looks best, right? So we can go to, to E. So what you're gonna do is the top of the collar is where you wanna stop, right? So we, can, we stop at D, our image is gonna go right here. If we stop at E, we'll bring it down a little bit farther and it'll go about right there. So it's only a, the difference of about a, a half an inch um, between each letter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it right there. Right, we're good to go. Make sure it's straight, make sure this line is straight with your with this line right here, right? This line right here is gonna be your center point and we're gonna bring this line straight down just like that, right? And then you don't have to, you don't have to because um, this thing doesn't have a lot of fibers on it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it anyways, is I'm going to take some of this water soluble, soluble, however you say it, and I'm going to put it on there. This is just to keep, if you're doing beanies, I use this on beanies, it's to keep the fibers down and keep them from poking out um, from the hoodie, right? Or anything that you're using that's very fuzzy, right? And then you're going to take your Mighty Hoop, and all you do is you have these little grooves right here is you're going to set this on there just like that right you want to have this u-shape right here facing up all right so you have the u-shape facing up we got everything lined up we're, we're going with d we're going with d we're going everything is straight everything is nice once we get it into place this is what i'm talking about consistency so every time i do this i bring my hoodie down to d i have it set at 19 and it's always going to be set up the same. So no matter what, once I clamp this down, it's going to be the same. And then when I bring the next one, it's going to be the same um, every single time. When it comes to using this and you're doing this on a table, you're going to have to do some measurements. We're going to have to get a ruler, measure so many inches down, and then from the zipper, so many inches out, and then put you a little cross. And you have to do that with every single one that you're doing. You're going to have to measure it to get the consistency of what you are getting ready to stitch. Not only that, whenever you're putting this on, you you have to remember that whenever you put this on there, um, you gotta keep your backing in place, plus you gotta make sure that this isn't crooked whenever you're doing it. You gotta make sure that it's perfectly straight every single time. Um, and with this tool, like I told you guys, you take away all of that, right? And it's gonna save you a lot of time. So whenever you're ready, Whenever you're ready and you have everything set up, the good thing about this is these magnets are really, really strong on this thing. All I'm going to have to do is just push this down and it's going to be hooped. So just like that, we are hooped and we're ready to take this to the embroidery machine. I'm going to take it off and as you can see, we have our water soluble. What that means is whenever you're done with this and every, whenever you get ready to wash it or whatever you're going to do, whenever we get done embroidering it, we could take this off, put some water on there and this stuff dissolves. Same thing with the stuff on the inside. So let's go to the MT1501 and get ready to stitch this. All right, so here we are with Rakoma's MT1501 Game Changer. If you guys are interested in this embroidery machine or any of the embroidery machines that Rakoma carries, make sure you go down below. There's a link down there. Click that link, it's gonna take you to the website where my link will save you up to 250 bucks. So if you guys are looking for one, um, take advantage of that, save you $250. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we have to make sure 
that whenever we put this on the embroidery machine that we put it just like this all right so we have to make sure that i put this on here but you want to make sure that whenever you do this that the, the back of the hoodie did not get stuck underneath here because if you did you're going to sew the back of the hoodie to the front of it i'm just letting you know because i've done it all right so we got our hoodie on there all right so when it comes time to uploading your image right all you do is put the thumb drive in right here where my fingers at there's a little slot right there you put it in there and then what you're going to do is you're going to have the thumb drive here you're going to click that and then you're going to go through um your pages right we got six pages of images we find the one that we have there's our image and then what you have to do is you have to actually download it to the machine so then you click this one we're just going to leave it in the the root folder we hit ok it downloads it then we come to our our actual files on our embroidery machine i hit back because it always puts it as the last one we hit hearth and there is our image right there so then once we got that we can go ahead and hit ok all right so now our image is set um you could change out the different um hoops that are in here right now we are set at hoop d let's go ahead and change it to c and hit ok all right, so as you can see, once we did that, our hoop got smaller, so our image got bigger, right? So once you got that, we're gonna hit escape, and then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna pick our color. We're gonna go with black, which is number three on my machine, and then hit okay again. And then we gotta put it into embroidery status. We're gonna hit the lock key right here, and hit okay again. Once you do that, you are ready to do an image trace, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this button right here, and when I hit that button, it's going to do this. All right, so now it's going to trace our image and it's going to make sure that it does not hit the hoop, right? You can also come here and hit trace. And as you can see, we are not hitting the hoop. So we are good to go. All right, so again, that's all it is to setting this up. So whenever you guys are ready, all you have to do make sure you have the the proper needle you're going to be using make sure you have the thread color picked all right and then once you got your trace and you got everything set up always double check just double check make sure just verify that it's not cut underneath and when you're ready hit start
so that is it check this out it needs to be cleaned up a little bit but that looks good look at that all right so whenever you're done again these are magnetic you have the little tab down here from the from the back side of the hoop you just hold it and this piece will come right out then we're going to take this water soluble stuff and we're just going to take it off of here unzip this take this off of here and then as you can see here's our inside right here we're going to cut this off so here is the back of it now right and here is the front that looks good look at that all right, so let me clean this up a little bit. Let me get some little scissors to clean this up. All right, so what you could do is just get a little get a little bit of water. Like I said, I'm saying dipping it into a container over here. And this stuff, as you can see, it just comes right off. Right? You could use a you could use a sponge if you have one. Um, I thought I had one, but I didn't, but I don't. So we're just gonna do that, get some of this stuff off of here. Um, if you don't even want to mess with it, just leave it like that, and when you wash it, it'll come off. So here's the cool stuff about the cool thing about this one in the back back here, is that you'll see as soon as I start to uh, start to touch this one, you'll see the same thing happens with this one. So whenever you go to wash this, you can see that it's just falling apart. Uh, the good thing about this one that I just learned about, I didn't know about it, is um, it dissolves, right? So you'll see it right here. As I'm doing this, this stuff is just dissolving. You can see it just shrinking up. So whenever you go to wash this, again, all of this in here is just going to disappear. So um, you won't have to worry about this. I was using the the cutaway um, at first, and I would just leave like just leave this inside whatever I was doing. But now I found out about this stuff. Going to be really good, all right? So let's go ahead and check this out. That looks good. All right, so there it is. Check it out. It's not just a regular zip-up hoodie anymore. It's now a Hard and Hustle printing hoodie. I also did a red one. Let's see if I can get it. There it is. Check it out. So I also did a red one. Uh, after I got done with this one, my daughter won. And when I did buy some hoodies, some pullovers, some zip-ups for here um, at Hard and Hustle Printing. And then I did buy some for the my girls over there at um, the vinyl stand also that I'm going to be doing. Um, this one still, we just got to clean out this Salvo um, wash away stuff from there. Um, but like I said, you know what I mean? You guys saw the process of this and how consistent it is, how easy it is to be consistent whenever you're doing something for a customer, right? Um, as you saw, I moved this over a little bit, right? If I, would've, if I wouldn't have moved this over, it would have been a little bit farther over, right? So I've, I've learned the, the hoop master, um, I'm not saying that it's off, but I'm just saying like where I want my placement, I move it over a little bit. Um, so like I said, invest in yourself. Um, with the Hoop Master and the Mighty Hoops, you guys saw how easy it was to, to hoop something and how quickly it was, right? If I didn't uh, walk you through it, like it's, it's whenever I do it, it's just like put the backing on there. If I was doing a shirt or um, like I said, doing this, I put the Salvo just in case on top, clamp it, it's good to go, right? Um, and it saves you a lot of time from using the circle one where you have to clamp it. You got to make sure it's right. You got to keep messing with it, right? I've, I've dealt with it and I've done it, right? And I, by me purchasing this right here, it's been a whole lot easier, all right? Um, and then let me show you what else I just bought. All right, so there's the washout booth. I've only had it for like a week, maybe less than that, maybe like three or four days. Um, but I had all these screens to clean and I hate doing them because I would have to scrub them by my hand. But now I can stick them straight into here and from here, take them and put them in here, right? So now I got this. I even purchased the whole light setup kit that it came with, right? So this is pretty cool. So this is going to save me a lot of time. Now when it comes to reclaiming screens and doing what I have to do, right? So this thing fit perfect in my shop. It's in a shower. As you can see that, it's like a stand-up shower. This thing fit perfect from that side to that side so yes yes it's official I do have a washout booth and a dip tank so stuff like that is saving me a lot more time now um, because I'm able to take the screens in there dip them take them out and it'll immediately wash them off and it's just saving me a ton of time because before I would go back there with some spray Scrub, scrub it down scrub it down and I would like those screens that are back there right now probably would take me about an hour and a half to two hours to sit there and scrub them 
wash it off, find some more emulsion, um, clean it off, scrub it, you know, back and forth, putting them down and then going through each one. You know what I mean? I've, and I've done it because the last couple months that I've been screen printing in here, um, I've been scrubbing all of them. You know what I mean? But I finally was like, you know what? I just need to spend the money. I need to pull the trigger and buy that thing. Um, so I went ahead and I did that too. Um, same thing with my, my laptop. It was running really, really slow. So I picked up a desktop. The desktop now, like it's just a click and it's real time. Whatever I'm doing is real time. It's not lagging. It's not doing any of that stuff. Um, so that's what I talk about when I say invest in yourself. Um, invest in yourself in the way that it's going to help you and your business, right? More efficient and help you um, put out jobs faster, right? So, all right, that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video on embroidery, right? And investing in yourself and your equipment and your tools, right? So thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Thank you guys for all the support. Remember, if you guys need one of these MT1501s or any of the embroidery machines that Rakoma carries, make sure you go down below. There's a link down there. Click that link. It's gonna take you to the Rakoma website. And by you clicking that link, it's gonna save you up to 250 bucks, all right? So thank you guys for all the support. And until next time, keep pressing.